Hi everyone, this is Brenda here and welcome to my next episode, day 19 of my Let's Clash series. So this is my base, currently being uh, attacked by Dexton. So he's using some barbarians and archers, level 5 in fact, to attack my base. Definitely gonna be a 3 star and uh, not too difficult for him to 3 star my base, especially when he has such strong level troops. And uh, with uh, such weak defenses that I have, it's definitely gonna be very easy for him. Especially with such low level wizard towers and also mortars, they won't be able to do a lot of damage to his troops. But uh, yeah, not to worry, although he's gonna steal the huge amount of loot that is uh, available for him, like 100,000 gold and also almost 200 over 1000 uh, elixir for him to loot. But uh, not to worry, definitely we're gonna get it back in the next few raids that you guys are gonna watch. So let him just go ahead and take all the loot that he's uh, able to take. So yeah, nice one on him. And then going ahead to do my own attack, attacking this very first base with 157,000 gold available and also 113,000 elixir available so just focusing on the gold mines and of course I was trying to get a 1 star so I tried to get the other outside buildings first to be destroyed especially the barracks on the top left as they give a lot of uh, percentage and also their HP is very low so now focusing at the bottom where my troops have already taken out a lot of the structures and then just left with the gold mines on the left side the archers are taking out a little bit of the gold and then eventually they got taken out by the cannons so just left with that one gold mine on the left side couldn't get it and then eventually scoring 53% one star so going ahead with the next attack this base is a tower on 9 and then eventually I decided to drop some archers on the left side first to take out the army camp dropping some barbarians to take out the mortar so that they do not do a lot of damage because the mortar won't be able to do damage to the barbarian dropping uh, some archers on the top to clear some of the structures so this base as you can see there are actually 4 storages 4 storages because it's a town hall night and also taking into consideration that both of the storages in the middle behind the walls on the top over there they are the highest level which is level 11 storages so I was trying my luck trying to go for it and I uh, just decided to just go for it as I had a little confidence that I could go for it because the walls they were pretty low in level that's one and also I had wizards in my clan castle so once the wizards came out and also once my archers had broken through the wall with the help of the barbarians barbarians they went down pretty quickly and also I didn't really bring enough barbarians for this raid and uh, once the wizards have gone through doing a few more damage to the uh, gold storages took out two of the gold storages in just a matter of seconds eventually getting like around 100 over 1000 gold from it so just left with like around 69,000 right now uh, should be ending the battle in a few more seconds because uh, there won't be any more stuff that I could take and also that I won't be able to get the one star so yeah that's it for this attack going ahead with the next one with 240,000 gold available on this town hall 8 so there was a gold mine on the right side all the collectors and also the gold mines they're all behind the wall which uh, was quite a pain for me I don't really like to attack this kind of base especially with barbarians and archers so trying my luck focusing on the uh, left side especially on the gold mines and then eventually dropping my clan castle the wizards coming out to do a little bit more damage I was hoping that the wizards would veer towards the left side so that they could take out the wizard tower however the wizard didn't uh, go the right way and they went to the right side eventually the wizard tower still survived until probably even the end of the battle so just carrying on the top over there, you can see the gold mines that have already been taken out and then eventually just left with around a 10 over 1000 gold for, uh, that's available. So stole pretty much a, a, around everything for the gold itself and then uh, just ending the battle, surrendering and just losing trophies again. And then going ahead with this Town Hall 7 with 330,000 gold available and also I could place my troops inside the base because the base isn't properly designed and there was a tesla over there and also probably contain a giant bomb if someone didn't attack this base before me so going ahead to take out the gold mines on the outside first then after that focusing on the inside trying to take out the gold mines on the inside dropping my clan castle which the wizards have came out and then taking out the gold mines really quickly the left gold mine is going to be taken out in just a few more seconds too so just carrying on with the attack trying to focus on the gold mines on the outside as there was still a lot of gold inside the gold mines and then eventually uh, just a letting my troops just go ahead because there was nothing else that I could do just left with only the lightning spell just waiting for them to just go ahead to go for the gold mine unfortunately they weren't strong enough to break through the wall but they managed to shoot through the wall especially for the archers getting a bit of the gold mine eventually just uh, going ahead to end the battle so going ahead with the next attack on this town hall 7 with 163,000 gold available so although the loot isn't that awesome but uh, I just want to show you guys something which is if you guys notice at the bottom there's a layer of wall over there and there's a zone whereby we can't deploy our troops so usually I will try to tap onto a place that I can't deploy my troops to test and look at where I can deploy my troops and then eventually when I look at where I can deploy my troops I'll try to place my finger as those spots and then uh, deploy my troops in that particular manner otherwise I will be stuck trying to 
uh, deploy my troops. So that's something that I usually use uh, try my luck and to test out whether the troops can be deployed at certain spots first. When I see that the area has came out, then I will deploy those troops at that particular spot where I want them to be deployed at. And now going back to my base, so my gold storage, one of them has been upgraded to level 11, increasing my capacity to 3 million from 2 million. So that's something that I'm really looking forward to. So spending the gold on the walls and then getting most of them to dark purple crystal, slowly upgrading them as to not spend all the gold because I was trying to uh, save them up for a little upgrade later as I'm trying to upgrade another motor, planning to get another extra motor in fact. So I need 8,000 gold, so I was just uh, slowly calculating it out. 35,000 gold left, so I just have to minus off a few more gold, like around 25,000 gold, have hopefully be able to left with 2,000 gold available to use for searches. So going ahead to slowly spend my wall, not uh, rushing my way, otherwise I might miscalculate. And then eventually I have to go and do some raids first before my uh, builder could actually do anything otherwise I won't be able to do anything so left with 13,000 gold uh, left and then uh, eventually uh, upgrading that last two more upgrades of the wall uh, doing a few more walls trying to get to like 10,000 uh, gold and then eventually once I reach to 10,000 I went ahead to buy the motor so the motor I went ahead to the shop definitely in the shop and then the defense over there as you can see the motor it cost 8,000 to get it to level 1 so I decided to get the third motor it's, it, it requires 8 hours to upgrade and in the 8 hours I would be able to do a little bit of farming so I went ahead and farmed for a while I managed to get 928,000 gold and then eventually I found this Town Hall 8 base with 393,000 gold available so definitely it was a nice find uh, and I was going to go for it and uh, hoping that I would get a 1 star and uh, get the Town Hall at the same time so that I could get the 2 stars out of this base Unfortunately, a lot of the defenses were so uh, nicely placed that it took out a lot of my uh, troops really quickly. And also, the gold storages, they look uh, pretty uh, filled. So, of course, not all the gold that were inside the gold mines. Unfortunately, uh, I was able to get all the gold mines as uh, they were rather exposed. So, getting all the gold from the gold mine was really awesome. But uh, we left like around 100 of a thousand gold inside the gold storages. But not to worry, that's uh, uh, not really needed as I got majority of the gold. So, 37%, one star, getting only the town hall eventually finding this town hall 7 with 230,000 gold available so this base was rather easy to attack uh, just focusing on the top and then after that focusing on the bottom in a v-shape and a v-shape manner on the top and the bottom uh, this is another strategy of way of how i deploy my troops so not all the time i deploy as in uh, on the top left top right bottom right and then bottom left usually i will tweak my strategy around depending on the design of the base and also depend on my, the laziness of myself whether i want to focus my troops on a certain place or whether do I want to spread out my troops or whatsoever or whether do I want to play my troops in terms of just uh, taking out the exposed uh, buildings first and just waiting it out so sometimes I do get lazy and didn't want to wait for it so now as you can see my motor finish is upgrade I didn't uh, get 3 million gold for my capacity I didn't manage to fill it up because I forgot that it was a uh, 3 million capacity at that point of time and then uh, I thought when I reached 2 million I was really reached the cap so I just uh, laced it out and then eventually I realized at the last moment that oh yeah my uh, gold storage capacity is actually already 3 million so I didn't have enough time to farm for that 3 million but not to worry uh, definitely the next round of uh, upgrading I will definitely remember that it's 3 million and then I will use the 3 million to upgrade my stuff so going ahead to upgrade my walls and then after that I went ahead to upgrade the motor because it requires 12 hours so uh, in that 12 hours I will go ahead to go to bed and then eventually the next morning I'll continue my farming so going ahead to go to bed and then now as you can see my uh, go and elixir escapade they have uh, increased slightly so yeah that's it for this uh, particular episode update for you guys so hope to see you guys in the next few episodes next few episodes will get more exciting farming dark elixir will start soon probably in a week or so once I reach town hall 8 I will be farming dark elixir so as to prepare for town hall 9 to prepare to get the archer queen which requires 40,000 dark elixir to get her so I need some time to farm the dark elixir definitely so starting early as a town hall 8 will be really awesome especially when the loot penalty ain't as high as a town hall 9 too so yeah that's it for this uh, particular episode hope you guys can enjoy it and also enjoy all the loot and with that said I'd like to thank you guys for watching my episode and clash on